Hey guys, welcome to Midas 101. Today we're going to answer the question, what is n plus 1 redundancy? You see it on the brochures, you see it in the ads, Midas has it listed all over their, their websites about how their consoles carry an n plus 1 redundancy. Well, what Midas has done is they've made all of their I.O. boxes carry an additional stream of AES-50 communication between the work surfaces or the DSP rack of any of these consoles and the I.O. box. There is an additional port above and beyond the channel count that you need for that box. On the 251, this is a 48 channel input box with 16 outputs. So the way this box functions is on AES-50 Audio 1, because these are 24 channel streams, this fixed format box sends this 24 channels of audio to the console and it returns these 16 channels back to the stage box. The second stream of AES-50 Audio 2 carries this stream of inputs to the console and there is no additional output. You can see there's an AES-50 Audio 3 here. What this is, is this is a redundant line that if anything happens to drop audio on either of these two lines, the console system automatically switches that line to this one. It's on the preface that you're probably only going to have a problem with one cable going down and rather than having to run full redundancy on everything, this covers that. The same thing if you move up to a 451 box. This is the modular box, which has three slots. Each of these slots is eight channels bi-directional. As you can see, we've got a D-sub card in here, which is uh, eight channels of, of mic inputs and eight channels of balanced outputs on this card. Uh, we could slide into this another input card like you can see down here on this 351. We could slide an output card. We could slide a digital card into any of these holes. And we're locked to this 24 channel count. On this box again we have an X line which is the primary inputs but we also have a Y line which is the redundant backup line on this box. When we move into the 1 series boxes these are 24 channel boxes. On a 151 we have 24 channels of input, which are carried by the AES-51 port, but this box is an AES-52 port, which if this line goes down, the audio will automatically switch to here. On the 153 box, we have 16 inputs and 8 outputs. These are all carried by the first AES-50 line. Again, if, and if this line goes down, it will automatically jump to this. You set up these preferences if you choose to use the redundancy in the patching of the console. In the console you have choices as on here you have choices of in your configuration and in your configuration you have if you had a DL251 attached to this Pro 2 Pro 2C you can see there is an A, B and a C port on this. The A port carries your primary 1 to 24 the B port carries your 25 to 48 and the C port is your redundant backup. As long as you port this to the C line on this box, you'll be carrying N plus 1 redundancy if these lines are connected to a 251 box.